Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Calais. I'm currently a part of the University of Toronto's Advanced Full Stack Developers 12-week bootcamp. Today, I'm excited to walk you through my Module 11 assignment, the ExpressJS Notetaker. The ExpressJS Notetaker is a simple, lightweight, and fast web application that allows users to write and save and delete their own notes. So right off the bat, we were given starter code and all we had to do was create the server.js and the API routes.js and the HTML routes.js. The challenge was to create an application that uses ExpressJS on the back end by saving and retrieving note data from a JSON file. We were then required to merge and connect both the back end to the front end of the application by creating these routes and then after that, going to Heroku and launching the application for deployment. For module 11, the criteria required that we learn how to create an API routing and HTML routing that defined a get and post request routing endpoint, as well as creating a response to the client. Here we can see my API route.js, my HTML routes.js, and my server .js all connected and routing with one another to get what we need done. Additionally, down here, you're going to see that there is the bonus criteria for the delete request, which requires you to define a delete request. That is the criteria of the bonus uh, part of the assignment. And here I've left some brief comments about what to do and how I did it and you can always look to hear for inspiration on um, how to approach this problem set, okay? As you can see here at the bottom of the API routes.js, and I do admit this section was difficult at first, but I was definitely overthinking it, honestly. So please do pay attention to the comments I made in the file, as well as look to my work for inspiration. Don't forget, you can always find the link to my GitHub down below in the description, and you can always visit my GitHub and my repository just to see how I did it, compare. You can also download it and test it out yourself if you really want to. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going into the README just so we can quickly walk over a few things. So right off the bat, before I go to the live demonstration on Heroku, I'm gonna talk briefly about the installation process. So there's several ways that we can do this. One, we can clone the repository from GitHub. Two, we can download the zip folder from the repo on GitHub. And then three, open the cloned or download the repository in any source code editor. So once you've done these two, move on to step three and four. Once you've downloaded everything and you've opened it in the source code editor, Open the integrated terminal for the document and complete the respective installation guides provided in the build with. So I've done this really professional in the sense that the dependencies and everything else you're gonna to have to download in the installation guides are actually sourced in the versions and in the hyperlinks in here. So if I hover over, you can see that this is an active link. If you were to click that, it will open up to the page you need to see and it'll give you a comprehensive guide on what to do. So don't worry if you're not seeing any information here. It's all there. I've included some information about JSON, Heroku, Node.js, ExpressJS, even my license badges, which has nothing to do with this assignment. But in case you're wondering how I did my license badges, there you go. And if you're brand new to the channel and coding, boom, I've given you the link to Visual Studio Code, what I use for my source code editor and I highly recommend it, okay? Now, moving on to the usage guide. Right here, I have some usage instructions, and this is right where we're gonna get into the deployment application and how it operates. So our usage instructions, first of all, is to click here to open up the deployed application. I won't be opening that yet, just because I'm gonna demonstrate something else first quickly, okay? Two. Once we open the deployed application, we're gonna be prompted with a get started to open the note taker. You're gonna click that. And then number three, enter text into the title and text fields. 
there's going to be a title and text field that we can type in whatever message we want to have that open and prompt, etc. And then for number four, click the save icon on the top right to save the note. This will put the notes into the left hand side where they'll be stored in the local storage. Now number five, click the plus icon on the top right of the page to add another note. You always have to do this when you want to add a brand new note to the note taker. Additionally, number six is the bonus question. So this is not actually required for you to do since it is the bonus, but I do highly recommend it. So definitely don't skip it out because I have everything outlined here for you. So take advantage of that, please, with, you know, anything, just, just do it for the sake of. So you're going to be clicking the trash icon to delete the save note. And that's what that delete route does. Visually, everything is going to be up there on the front end, even if you don't do this, and you'll still see the delete um, icon there. But since I've routed it, when I click the delete icon, it will now officially work. So here's what I'm going to do. First off, I'm going to show you how to operate this locally. All you have to do is type in node server .js, and then you're given the local host. I'm just simply demonstrating that everything is here locally. Boom, localhost 3001, and everything is here and working. I'm not gonna delete these yet because I'm gonna show that in the example. So I'm gonna close this again. Whoops, I'm gonna close this, and then I'm gonna go back to my VS code just to show you now that not only is it working in the localhost, but it is working in the deployed application. <laughs> Boom. And as you can tell, this is not the local host. This is officially my Heroku's live application. So successful launch. Kudos to myself. Big old pat on the back. Now here's the note taker. So to get started, we obviously have to click get started. Now, the reason why I wanted to keep these notes and not delete them in the local is that, well, in that local source, if I delete it, well, there's no point in me demonstrating it here. What I want to demonstrate here with the live deployment of Heroku is that this is all being stored locally. So on my local device, it remembers what content I have up here. So everything is stored locally, which is fantastic. Now, if I want to add a note, all I would have to do is go to the top here and then enter whatever I wanted to. I would put in test one and then note I would put note test and then I would simply click the save icon on the top right when doing so everything will be tracked here in the rest of the notes and I can even click test one to open up the note and see what's inside and as you can see I have a previous list I've made which is a grocery list with bread eggs and milk and I have another list, a to-do list, where I've mentioned to clean my room, complete laundry, clean washroom, call mom, and visit my wonderful grandfathers, because I obviously love going over there. And lastly, a fun little note here that says, watch The Last of Us, episode nine. Season finale, by the following. Number one, popcorn for everyone. Two, Diet Coke and regular Coke. Three, ready up the Pedro Pascal memes. It's kind of an inside joke. Four, clean the basement, set up the snack table, and then five, confirm seven attendees. So I'm simply demonstrating the way I can use my notes to my advantage for my personal use or any other user use in general. Now, the big question is, is that I can, well, you know, add my note in the title and in the note section and save it, and then I can Click the add note to start a brand new note whenever. But does this work? And since I obviously did mention I did the bonus, of course it works. So I'm gonna demonstrate it by clicking test one, just to show that test one is here and the note test is there. And then I'm going to click the little red trash can. Boom, it works. So it's deleted the note and you know the option is there and it's done. So this is absolutely fantastic and, you know, it's great.
I highly recommend anyone who is stuck on the problem of the bonus, although it's not worth a lot of marks, please just take the time to do it. Look to my work for inspiration. Don't let yourself down. I initially did, but hey, I stuck it out and I completed it and it's very rewarding, okay? And with that, we wrap up my Express JS note taker. Once again, my name is Thomas Calais. Thank you for watching. I am a student at the University of Toronto's Full Stack Developer 12 week bootcamp, and this has been the Module 11 assignment. If you guys do need help, please feel free to message me. You can always look for inspiration by clicking my GitHub link down below. Not only that, feel free to start a conversation. There's a community chat box in the comments down below on YouTube. Feel free to mention whatever you want. And I'm sure someone else will be able to help you along the way. And we can start great discussions as well as connect with each other to better help each other out in our pursuit for our coding careers, okay? Anyways, lastly again, my name is Thomas Calais. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.